Welcome to Tips and Tricks. We're going to make a fishing bait today that's going to save you money, catches carp and tench, all sorts of other fish. It's an idea I come up with a couple of years ago, shared it with my friends, and it works very well. First of all, let's get the kettle on. These baits are called pop-ups, and we fish them on hair rigs, but more about hair rigs later. Let's assemble the ingredients. Firstly, we need some jelly mix. We've got a strawberry flavour, which I've used in the past, and that's always worked for me. You can try other flavours. And dog biscuits from the pet shop. This is far too much. You won't need half of this. Probably the most important thing is to select a medium-sized bowl, but make sure it fits in the fridge, because you're going to have to put it in there afterwards to cool down. So let's make the mixture. I've already measured out a pint of water and put it in the kettle. We get the jelly mix. The jelly needs to be a strong mixture. The theory is that the biscuits absorb the mix. When used as a slightly buoyant bait, the jelly flavouring is an attractant. Also, this bait is so different in shape and texture, wary fish will fall for it more readily. This autumn I'm going to try making up some fishy flavours, maybe even try some aniseed. The possibilities are endless and a lot easier than trying to make up your own boilies. I'll be dividing this quantity into four. I'll take one pouch tomorrow and freeze the rest for another day. They keep very well in the freezer. So we've cut up the jelly pack, put it into the bowl, pour it on the hot water. Now we give it a stir. All the pieces of jelly have dissolved. We can add the dog biscuits. bag like this, about half, and the dog biscuits gradually soak up the mixture. We put it into the fridge when it's cooled down, and the dog biscuits are absorbed into the jelly, and it comes out in one big lump. When we do take it out, we need one of these freezer bags to pop it in and seal it up, ready to put in our tackle box. We're going to set it aside to cool down now and then after about 20 minutes we'll pop him in the fridge and it's done. Well that's how we hope to get the fish feeding tomorrow. I'm going to get my grub ready now and save some time in the morning. I'll see you on the bank side. Well this is the big test on the lake side. We've got uh, our strawberry flavoured dog biscuits and we've caught two eight pounders this morning and a five pounder just on these pop-ups. Here's the strawberry pop-ups we made last night in the kitchen. It's got strawberry jelly as you've seen, nicely absorbed into the dog biscuit but it's solidified in the fridge and it's kept in the freezer bag to stop attracting wasps and other nasties. First get your baiting needle, it doesn't have to be sharp, just push it into the dog biscuit that's nice and soft. Pick up the loop of the hair and pull it off the needle. Then all you have to do to finish off is insert a boilie stop into the end of the loop. Instead of a boilie stop I use a small piece of spaghetti. In the water the piece of spaghetti softens up. You simply push the spaghetti through the loop and then break it off at the right length which is better than the fish feeling a hard bit of plastic. And there's your pop-up ready to go. We ended up with a good catch this day. When nothing else seems to work, a homemade strawberry pop-up will be worth a try. It only costs you a few quid. Tight lines, I hope you give this a try and look out for some more tips and tricks.